Hello guys and welcome to Marvel Future Revolution. Today I want to discuss a topic of whether it's better to play Marvel Future Revolution on PC or is it better to play on the mobile. Let's get into it. So I've been playing this game uh, since pretty much its global release and uh, initially I installed it on my phone and I tried it for a few days and it was fine. But then I thought, uh, oh, I know there is such thing as Android emulators for your computer. So I tried playing this game on a PC and it absolutely changed my experience. In my opinion, the best way to enjoy this game is playing on PC. At least for me, there are so many benefits to it. We're going to get into it later in this video. Before we discuss all the benefits of playing on PC, I want to mention that this video is sponsored by LD Player, but... They didn't ask me to say any specific things, uh, they basically just said to check out their emulator and uh, if you want uh, we can sponsor a video, you, you can talk about the things that you like, uh, you, can, you can discuss the benefits for using this emulator for playing Marvel Future Revolution and that's what I did, I installed the, their LD player and I played it for two weeks, I played Marvel Future Revolution for two weeks straight on this uh, emulator and let me tell you, <laughs> this was actually a game changer. So uh, initially, when I started playing Marvel Future Revolution on PC, I tried multiple uh, different emulators. I tried Nox, I tried BlueStacks, and uh, all of them have some sort of issues. For example, in BlueStacks, there was a very annoying issue where uh, the textures would sometimes go up and down. So it's like sometimes you would find yourself buried under the ground. And it's, uh, from what people told me, this is not happening on the phones, that was just BlueStacks issue, and that was very annoying. There was also an issue with audio when, after playing for a while, it would become jittery and the sound wasn't clear, it was like... It was jittery, that's how I would describe it. Uh, but since I've been using LD Player for the past two weeks, I had none of those issues. Everything runs super smooth, graphic looks amazing. And there's a few features that I found in LD Player that absolutely blew me away that I think are absolute game changer for this game. Let's discuss those features. First of all, my most favorite feature in the entire world. Let me show you. There is this button on the top right here. That's called Mini Mode. When you click on the Mini Mode, you get, let, let me move my camera so you can see, you get this little mini player in the right bottom of your screen, which you can move, you can put it literally anywhere. And here you can pin this window. Once you click pin, you can click anywhere outside. You can, you can do anything in your browser, you can do anything in your apps. And this thing will stay on top of anything else that's going on on the screen. This was unnecessary, I apologize. <laughs> so what this means, I can actually like browse internet, uh, I can uh, work on my computer, and I can have this little small window in the corner. And for example, I'm doing my daily stuffs on auto, I can just uh, click things, I can go do uh, my battle challenge, you can, I can go do uh, my blitzes, and I can switch between, uh, like, I can just click next, I can click retry, all that stuff, without even closing what I'm doing, without constantly having to check what's going on in the game. It's just pinned in a small window, and you can actually adjust the size. For, to do this, like, you can, uh, once you pinned it, you can pin it inside the mini mode, and then you can exit the mini mode, and then this wi window is still gonna stay pinned, so you can make it any size you want, you can position it anywhere on the screen, and as you see, it still stays here. You can interact with other apps, and you have a small Marvel Future Revolution instance in the corner. This is absolutely incredible. My favorite feature so far, and I haven't seen any other emulator do anything like this. The next feature that I absolutely love is that you can record, basically, your uh, screen actions and play them on the loop. And if you're playing Marvel Future Revolution, you know what that means. Let's say I'm farming, uh, I, I leave my computer farming overnight. I farm as Doctor Strange in this beautiful area, I'm just killing stuff, but what if I want to maximize? You know at some point you're gonna run out of storage for your badges, like I'm almost run out, and look at all these badges. So what I can do, I can click this button, Record Operation Recorder. 
and uh, here I already have a recording. I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna record my own recording right now. What I can do to maximize it even more, I can actually bake in this uh, ultimate use. Ultimate move use uh, for Doctor Strange is gonna increase his farming potential tremendously. So what I can do, I can do start recording. You press F10 and now we do this. We use uh, super move. We use ultimate move. Now I go uh, to the settings. Right after this, I go to the menu. To inventory. I'm, my bad, I pressed the wrong thing. Now I go press and dismantle. I select one, two star badges. I press go. I press OK. I exit inventory. And that's it. Recording finished. Now I can go to the settings. I can make it loop until manual stop. I don't know if you can. I hope you can see stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm going to zoom in on this. Uh, I can do until manual stop. Uh, we can make loop interval. Let's see. I want to I want to run the script every, let's say, one minute. So I'm going to put 60 seconds here. Uh, speed 1x. Uh, and that's it. Save. And now when I play this script, let me wait for a little bit until I get my super move. When I play this script, it's going to run this thing every 60 seconds. So every minute, Doctor Strange will perform his uh, ultimate move. And then we'll go and clear out his inventory. And you're basically going to be getting a lot of Convergium and coins. It works like a charm. And you can, you can literally minimize it and have it on the background while you work. If you don't do anything actively in the game, just run the script and go do your things. Look, it's working. It's doing it by itself. I'm not touching anything. It just did super move. Now I, I, I clicked the wrong button, so it went to the wrong menu. But I can still go... Uh, it, it still works. You can re-record it at any time. We, it, it does it by itself. It's going to press dismantle. It's going to select one, two star badges. It's going to dismantle them. You will never overflow. You're going to have a pretty insane amount of gold and convergium by the end of your farming session. You can do it in training grounds. There are so many ways you can uh, basically automate your grind in Marvel Future Revolution using this tool. And it works flawlessly. All right, now let's talk about the performance. I'm going to be honest, I did not notice any lag. I did not notice any issues. On mobile, uh, the phone will heat up after a while. Like, if you try to do farming on mobile... Let's now discuss like why 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 is using PC emulator in my opinion much better for this game. First of all, a lot of the grind, especially after you reach level 100, after you developed a pretty decent character, a lot of the gr grind becomes automatic. So what you do, you go to blitzes, you run them on auto, and doing the one hour, two hour daily grinds, uh, however much time you dedicate to the game. It's, it's gonna drain your battery, it's gonna damage your battery, because the phone is gonna definitely heat up while you do that, if you run the game for uh, for one or two hours. You might uh, do it in like the, the lowest graphic settings possible, but then you're losing out on all these beautiful graphics that this game has to offer. However, on computer, you can just launch it, and you can like do whatever you want on your computer, and... You, you can have the game minimized on the corner and you can just click stuff and let it do its thing and do the grind without getting distracted whatsoever. It's absolutely beautiful and saves so much time and battery on your phone. Plus on your phone, if you need to do anything, if you need to make a call, if you need to uh, go to the browser, if you need to minimize the game for any extended amount of time, more than five seconds, when you come back, it's gonna basically restart the server for you. You're gonna go back to the starting screen. And if you were in a certain location farming or doing, uh, for example, most wanted, you'll have to go there again because the game is gonna lock you out of that server. And you'll have to find your previous place again, which is super annoying here. You don't have to worry about it. You just have it on the background and you are always, you have a continuous gameplay session without wasting any time. And plus, not to mention, if you want to farm for any extended amount of time, like if you work on your computer and if you're done with your dailies, you can just leave it on the background and minimize and make it farm for you. It's not going to cost anything for your computer, but on your phone, again, it's going to be, if, if you need to use your phone, you're going to have to go back to your location every single time after you go back to the game. Your phone is going to heat up, your phone is going to, the battery is going to die, 
and it, it's just a hustle but on the computer it's so good now what else you can do here it's absolutely beautiful you can actually play on the controller you can actually use controller to play marvel future revolution look at this i can wa look i can walk i can I, I i can move around my screen the buttons are you you can see right now on the screen the buttons are mapped to certain skills you can change all of this you can literally control what you can make any layout you want if you don't like the default settings you can make your own settings for the controller and by pressing the button it's actually gonna press things on the screen and it has default settings so i find default settings very good you you have your super move as both triggers which is very popular in pretty much every game it's so intuitive and you have all your buttons, uh, all your moves m mapped to button buttons or combinations of the buttons. It's it's amazing. You can do the same for the keyboard. Uh, there are settings uh, right here. You can map things to your keyboard. And again, it works so good. It, it makes it it turns it into an actual PC game where you uh, w where you get a full control of what you're doing. You can launch your moves uh, with buttons. You can uh, walk. You can even, like, this is an incredible feature. You can lock your right mouse button. You can click right mouse button and it's gonna hide your cursor. And now, when you rotate your mouse, it's gonna rotate the screen without you having to press right mouse button. So it's, it's literally 100% immersive. It feels like a full PC game. And if you know what buttons are mapped to your special moves and all this stuff, you can grind just like on a pc game i i can just move around i can walk around with my mouse without clicking anything it just feels like you're playing pc game it's absolutely incredible experience in the settings you can pretty much select anything you want about your device you can select resolution if you have a 4k screen you can select the resolution of 4k you can basically enter any resolution, any DPI, and you can make this game look insane on any settings. You can uh, you can basically choose how much CPU and RAM you dedicate to the emulator. So if your game is lagging and if you notice that performance is not that great, just give it more. But honestly, on the default settings, I never had any issue with the game. You might even want to lower it in case you're running something else powerful in the same time when you're running emulator. Everything is in your hands. There is so many settings to play with. You can customize your experience as much as you want. And again, you don't have to play one game. It's an emulator. You literally can install any Android app on here. And you can play them all even in the same time. There is such a thing where you can launch multiple instances of the player. Side by side. You can have literally four games playing on the same screen and you can control them all separately and you can if you're playing more than one game you can grind them all on one screen so freaking good so yeah this is the point of the video guys totally unbiased i tried their emulator and i agreed to do this deal just because i figured out that this is it's, it's absolutely great it has some features that were game changers for me it saved me a lot of time it made my experience more fun, so I highly recommend you check out LD Player. I'm gonna leave the link in the description where you can install it. Uh, you will need to run 64-bit version in order to play Marvel Future Revolution because it's 64-bit game, so make sure you download that one. And yeah, you can install any Android game on it and play it on your PC. It has... Uh, a lot of game optimized especially to run on this emulator it has a lot of controller presets where you can off the box right off the box you can play a lot of different games with all on your mouse and keyboard all the mapping is done for you so check it out guys i highly recommend it i i've been using it and i'm gonna keep using it because it's just such a good experience thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments if you're using mobile or uh, PC emulator and why do you prefer one, one or another. The only thing I like about the mobile version is that if you're not home, if you're not near your PC, like if you want to play uh, during your commute, like you're on the bus and you want to do some grind, then yeah, sure, you don't have a choice. But when I'm home, I never run it on my phone. I always run it on my PC and it's, it's amazing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.